अहम ही सर्वज्ञान भोक्ता चतुर्भुरी विचा न तुम आम भी जानती तत्ते न तस्चबंदी थे because you do not know God in fact simply understanding oh there is God and little more advanced God is our order supplier oh that is not sufficient we must know God oh and I mean to say tam tattena in true tattena that tattena ah uh, in true as it is explained by lord chaitanya that is the highest explanation he has given the fullest information of course it is not possible to understand god to the fullest ex- fullest extension but as far as possible as a human being can understand that has been explained in the, by lord chaitanya about krishna Krishna has explained in the Bhagavad Gita about himself uh, that he is more than sufficient and still more Lord Chaitanya has explained about him. Uh, Krishna has explained himself that he required to surrender unto him. Just like here also he says, the Aung hi sarvajagana gupta. I am the beneficiary of all the activities of living entities and bhukta cha prahure vacha i am i am enjoyer and i am the master so in the bhagavad gita you will find that the lord advises people in general the sarva dharman parikta jamam ekam sarvam just try to surrender unto me and i shall give you all protection then ha ah, chaitanya mahaprabhu He is also Krishna himself as a devotee. He is explaining Krishna further. Not only surrender, but after surrender, what are the activities? That is explained by Lord Shiva. So, for the general people in general, the first requisition is that they they must learn how to surrender and to go. Tattena. Not the avijananti. They do not know what is a uh, I mean, the, uh, 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 accurate situation of the supreme lord. Now here it is stated, "Janti deva brata devan pithrin janti pithri brata ha bhutani janti bhute jya janti madjari no pima." Now the argument that in whatever form. You worship uh, the supreme. This is the Mahabadi theory that God is impersonal. Now, because we cannot worship or meditate upon something impersonal, therefore let us imagine something about Him and meditate upon that. Uh, just like the impersonalist yogi, they put before them. and uh, a lump of something and concentrated upon them uh, so here that theory is refuted by krishna uh, that impersonal conception of the supreme and our imagination of god uh, that is not uh, the way of approaching god uh, he says clearly here eh, the janti deva brata deva those who are worshiping the demi gods the demi gods have their different places in this material world uh, all the uh, planets heavenly planets uh, there are uh, seven planetary systems up and seven planetary system down so this is called bhuloka earthly planet and there are many planets on the system so bhuloka bhuvarloka janoloka tapoloka then brahmaloka satyaloka like that 
so many planets there. So there are different kinds of living entity and different kinds of comforts. Uh, they are highly intelligent, more uh, intelligent than the human being. Therefore they are called demigods, almost God. So here Krishna says, those who are trying to uh, uh, worship the demigods, they will go to the planets of the demigods. Janti deva brata deva. Pitri janti pitri brata. Pitri brata, uh, there is a form of worship of the forefathers. Uh, so there is a particular planet, uh, the worshipper of the forefathers, they go there. Pitrin janti pitri brata. And bhuteja janti. Bhutani janti bhuteja. And those who are materialistic, uh, those who want to worship these earthly things in this material, not material world everywhere, but bhuteja especially, uh, material worship. So bhuteja, those who are worship of material elements, they go to uh, they remain in the material platform. Janti mat jajino pi ma. And those who are worshipping me, Lord, they will come to me. Ah, this is very nice, clear. Now suppose if you have purchased ticket for, for an intermediate station between California, uh, San Francisco and New York. So you shall have to get down in that station. So how can you expect that you have purchased a ticket for intermediate station? How can you expect to go to California? Similarly, if you want to see demigods, oh, you can go up to that planet. As you worship, there are different arrangements in the system, in the creation of God. As you want, you have got freedom of action, and God awards you the result, whatever you want. But if you want to go to the planet where Krishna is, Krishna planet, uh, which is called uh, Goloka Vrindavan, then you have to worship Krishna. So there is nothing unreasonable. If you want to go to California or uh, San Francisco, you have to purchase tickets for that. Now what is the difference between going to other planets and to the planet where Krishna is? That will be explained. Oh. <coughs> oh. The, that is explained in a different place that oh. uh, jadgatyāna nivartante tadhāma paramangamama the supreme platform, supreme planet is there. Where going? Nobody returns to this material world. Jatgatyana nivartant. Nivartanti means does not nivartanti, does not return. Abrahma Bhavana Lokan Purana Abhatina. That we already we have discussed. That Gatagati. Now in the, within this material world, even if you go to the higher planet, the planet of the moon, planet of the sun, planet of heavenly planet, the Indra Lok, Chandra Lok, so many there. Then, after finishing your result of past activities, you have to come back again. Puradavati. So, we are sometimes going up, sometimes coming back again in this material, sometimes going down. Just like we are changing different dresses. Sometimes uh, I, am, I have got this body, Indian, sometimes you have got this body, American, and sometimes I may get the body of a dog or a hawk or uh, something else, I may get the body of demigod. As these changes of dresses are going on, uh, cycle of birth and death, uh, transmigration of the soul in different forms of life. Similarly, there is transmigration of the soul in different planets. So, abrahma bhuvana lokan, the system of going up and down should be stopped. 
that is the uh, business of an intelligent person. Jadagattana <clears throat> nivartanti. We should try to go to that planet where going, no more coming back. That is Krishna alone. That is Vaikuntha, the spiritual sky. Parasasmatu bhava anna. Beyond this material sky, there is spiritual sky, there are spiritual planets, and Krishna alone is there. So, Krishna uh, gives here hint that madhujaji no pi ma, as others are going, trying to go in other planets. Similarly, those who are in Krishna consciousness, those who are absolutely worshippers of the Supreme Lord, they will come to Me. Oh. Oh. They will come to Me. Mahamupetta Kauntiya, in other places, there are several places mentioned this fact. Mahamupetta Kauntiya, Dukhalam Asasatam Nafnubanti Mahatmana Sangsiddhim Lavati Para. Those who attain once to Me, they will ne- never, they will have never to come again to this place of misery. So here is the hint that by Krishna consciousness, if we remain always in Krishna consciousness, then our transference to that planet of Krishna Loka is guaranteed. Jangjang Bhapi Smaran Loki Tajatanti Kalevaram, we have discussed this verse that at the time of death, my mental condition, whatever my mental condition is at that time, at the time of my death, I am just going to have a similar body according to the mental condition at the time of my death. So if we are constantly engaged in Krishna, transcendental loving service of Krishna, Krishna consciousness, then naturally uh, we shall be thinking of Krishna at the time of death. This is the practice. This is the practice. Sadata the bhava bhant. Unless you practice, just like if you have to play on the stage, you have to perform several years, or if you have to appear in some examination, then you prepare yourself. What sort of question may be there? And so, similarly, if we at all want to transfer ourselves to that planet, Krishna Loka, Chintamani Dham, uh, then we have to practice. We have to practice in this life. This human form of life is meant for practicing. Uh, yeah, just like apprentice. Uh, here, uh, those who are even apprentice, they are already liberated. Uh, because that's a nice student who is preparing himself, he is already past. Uh, past means he is uh, uh, preparing himself in such a nice way that his passing of the examination is guaranteed. Uh, similarly, if we uh, take uh, the trouble of uh, becoming Krishna conscious always, then our transference to that planet, Madhyaji no ki that is guaranteed. Bhutani janti bhuteja, janti madhyaji no ki Now the question is that Krishna consciousness, how to perform Krishna consciousness? So that is explained by the Lord in the next verse. Patram puspam phalam toyam jumi bhakta prajachati tadaham bhaktu bhakti upahitam Asnami Prajata Atmana. Now you have to make friendship with Krishna. Just like if you want to go to see somebody very great, then somehow or other you have to make some connection with him. Something, if you have to introduce himself, yourself in a way, in a friendly way, in a loving manner, then it is possible to make connection with great personality. So if we want to transfer ourselves to that supreme planet, Krishna Loka, then we have to prepare ourselves uh, how to love Krishna, uh, love of God. 
if you are intimately in touch with God by love, we cannot conquer with or we cannot claim any favor from the Supreme unless we are in love. The love means there are six principles of loving. What is that? Dadati, Pratignati, Bhunte, Bhojayate, Guiham, Akhyati, Prichati Cha, Saravidha, Preeti Lakshanam. Oh. How one can understand, I love you, or you can understand that uh, I love you? There is, There are six kinds of reciprocation, six kinds of exchange, reciprocation. What is that? Uh, dadati. You know, Oh, one whom you love, you must give something. Ah. And you must take something from him. Dadati Pradhinati. Bhumte Bhojayati. You must give him something to eat. And you must accept also what he gives to eat. Dadati Pradhinati Bhumte Bhojayati Gujam Akhyati Prichaticha. You must disclose your mind and you must hear him if your lover is also. Uh, in some difficulty he discloses his mind. So these six things, uh, dadati, giving, and pradigindati, accepting, and uh, bhunte, to uh, offer foodstuff, and accept foodstuff, and disclose your mind, and hear him also. These six. So we have to deal with God in that way. Therefore, um, if you want to offer something, the beginning is offering. Offering. We must offer something. So what is that offering? If, you, if somebody says that, oh, I am very poor man, I cannot offer anything. Uh, uh, because uh, in, in India, of course, offering to the demigods, offering to uh, you know, some deity, uh, there is very expensive job, there are these of goods. Now suppose a poor man, oh, he wants to offer something to God, then what he has to offer? He, here is a prescription given by the Lord Himself, which can be offered even by the poorest man. What is that? Patram puspam phalam toyam. A, a little bit of uh, tulsi leaves or any leaf. Puspam, a little bit of flower. Patram puspam phalam. A small fruit and toyam, a little water. Now patram puspam phalam toyam, these four things can be available universally. Nobody is so poor that he cannot collect a leaf of a tree or a small fruit eh, or a, a small flower and little water. It is universal. Nothing expensive. Eh. So anyone in any country, in any place, he can offer Krishna these four things. Ah. There is no bar. <coughs> Patram, puspam, phalam, toya. Four things. Ah. A small leaf, ah, you can have any. There are so many trees. If you take one leaf, even if you are forbidden, ah, if you ask, I am going to offer this leaf to God, anyone will offer it. Ah. <coughs> Patram, puspam, a little flower, and <coughs> A small fruit and little water. Huh. <coughs> so, Lord says, Patram to Sumphalam Tuyam, Jume Bhakta Prajachet. The real thing is love. Anyone who is offering me these four things in love, huh. Taya Bhaktya Upuritam, because he, is, uh, he has brought these four things with love and devotion, then God says, Lord says, tadaham asnami ait, ait, bhakta prajita atmana, because with devotion, with faith, and with love, He has brought, God is full. We should not think that God is depending upon my, this little flower or fruit, He is very hungry, when I shall <coughs> offer this fruit and he will satisfy his other. No, he is Purna. But the, the qualification is that offering should be in, in love, in devotion. That he accepts. 
He accepts your devotion and love. Uh, uh, <coughs> so Patram Pusha also, anybody can worship Krishna. Uh, this is universal. Uh, Patram Pusha, these four things can be. But one thing you should remember, that if you want to cheat Krishna, Oh, Krishna wants only patram pushtam phalam tuyam. So let him have this patram pushtam phalam tuyam. And for myself, let me eat very sensuously, the best thing. <coughs> that is cheating. Uh, Krishna can understand. Uh, this is for the uh, uh, poorest man. But if you have got very nice things to offer to Krishna, just offer. Uh, any, please, no. Your, your love means you should offer to Krishna the nicest, the choicest, the best thing, because everything belongs to Krishna. Uh, so when you offer something best, choicest, that is your love only. Suppose you offer a fruit to Krishna, can you manufacture fruit? Oh, it is manufactured by Krishna. It is God's gift. Uh, but if you Ah, place before him some choicest food, some choicest flowers, some choicest, I mean, say, I'm saying, then that is your token of love, oh, that you think. Oh. And in this material world, suppose there is a very nice rose flower. Somebody takes it, oh, it is very nice rose flower. Oh, I shall take it and offer my girlfriend or boyfriend uh, that is sense gratification. That is sense gratification. The same flower, if you take it and think, oh, this is very nice flower, I shall offer to Krishna. Oh, that is your service to the Lord. Uh, the flower is there. Simply change of consciousness. This is called Krishna consciousness. The flower is there, you are there, the consciousness is there, this uh, offering is there, simply you have to change, that's all. You have to change. If you utilize things for sense gratification, then you go to, to the darkest region of this material atmosphere. And the same thing, if you offer to Krishna, it becomes spiritual. Now after offering Krishna, Krishna is not taking it away. You are taking, you are taking the prasadam. Uh -huh. That means the whole thing becomes spiritualized. Uh -huh. So in this way, we can spiritualize the whole world, uh -huh. whole world, simply by changing our consciousness. Uh -huh. We are uh, we are anxious for peace. This is the process of peace. You change your consciousness. Don't accept anything for your sense gratification. Uh -huh. Everything is there. It is supplied by the Supreme Law. Everything is the property of the Supreme Law. You are falsely claiming that you are the proprietor. You are not proprietor. How you can be proprietor? Suppose before you came to America from Europe, the land was there. <coughs> and suppose sometimes you leave this land, or the land will remain there. Oh. Or suppose I take my birth in America. So before my birth, the land was there. Ah. And after my death, the land will be there. If you trace out history, go on tracing. Ah. When the land was not there, you never find, therefore the land is gone. Why do you claim that this is my land? Ah. The earth belongs to God. Ah. Everything belongs to God. Uh, this consciousness should be changed. If you at all want peace, <coughs> if you encroach upon God's property and take it as your own thing and try to utilize for your sense gratification, you cannot expect any peace. Cannot expect any peace. Suppose you have stolen something from somebody else and if you want to enjoy, you will be always in trouble because the police search will be there and as soon as you are caught, you will be in trouble. Oh. Similarly, the nature is the police agent of God. <laughs> as soon as you want to uh, gratify your sense, 
by utilizing the property of God, then you'll be in trouble. The nature will inflict miseries upon you. Oh, this is the law of nature. It is uh, clearly stated in the Bhagavad Gita. This Gunamai Maya, this material nature, or three modes of nature, Gunamai, Guna means modes of nature. Uh, this modes of nature means it is a combination of three modes modes of passion, modes of goodness, modes of ignorance. So, therefore, it is called Gunamai Maya. So, Daivi Jesa Gunamai Mama Maya Durutaya. You cannot surpass the stringent laws of material nature. That is not in your power. Just like however stout and strong you are, when you are under police custody, oh, no strength will help you. <coughs> it will offer all kinds of tribulations. Similarly, the nature is very strong. So long we shall go up utilizing God's property uh, illegally and encroach upon others uh, and its possession, then there cannot be any peace. If you want peace at all, then you have to accept that everything belongs to God and I can use after offering Him, accepting that this belongs to you, God kindly. Uh, you have sent me all these things for my subsistence, or it is your thing, kindly, you first of all taste it, then I shall take your prasadam. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, God is supplying me everything. He will not eat whatever is given to you. It is for you. Simply just acknowledge. Just acknowledge. Oh, can he not acknowledge even? Oh, God, you have given us so nice things for eating. Please, you test. Uh, just like a small child, he is provided by the father. But while eating, he offers the father, my dear father, this is a very nice thing, you test. How much please will be the father? Just imagine. The father knows that the child <laughs> has brought my things. Uh, but if the small child offers to the father, father, it is very nice, you eat. Oh, father, no, it is very nice, all right, I shall eat it. Uh, this is love. This is love. Oh. So here, yeah. how you can offer your love? Patram pusram phalam toyam jyumi bhakta pujachati paya bhakta vridam asnami And if God accepts your things and eats, then what do you want more? Uh, he becomes your the most intimate friend. Jang labdha chaprang labhag mannati na bhikam tata If you can make God as your intimate friend, then there is no and nothing wanted. You uh, will he'll be fulfilled. You will find yourself there about everything. Uh, just means it is not guru na vidukhina na vichalate. And if we become convinced that God is my protector, Krishna is my protector, then how much happy and peaceful you will be. Uh, so this process, the Bhagavad Gita recommends that you offer. Doesn't matter. In the next law, uh, even if you cannot offer this patram pusvam phalam priyam, then uh, in the next law is explained. Then whatever you can offer, offer something. Offer something. Just be in love with him. Uh, then just see how much peaceful you feel, how much uh, tranquility you feel and how you are protected by Krishna, how you avoid insufficiency, how you become pure, and how you make your progress in spiritual life. Thank you very much.